2021 question four. You're asked, why can you not just go x equals y, y equals x to swap these variables? Well, um, if you think about it, if I've got Charles Babbage here, the guy who made the difference engine, the first kind of early computer, and Ada Lovelace here on the right, who made the first program, well, she was, I guess, the first programmer, trivia, she died with bugs in her program, never having the opportunity to actually run a program. She just wrote it on paper. So someone later ran it, and there you go. So if you feel bad, if you've got bugs in your program, don't. Um, so let's do it. Let's go. X equals Y. So copy. I assign X to Y. And then I take Y, and I bring it over to X. I bring it over to X. All I got is Babbage's. More more Babbage. But Lovelace is gone. That data has been lost. Okay. It, it, so that's that's why you can't do it. Um, and let's just see that on the marking scheme here. Um, yeah. Uh, so method does not work because the contents of X are overwritten. Lost. The data is lost after the first assignment. A temporary variable is needed. Yeah, so basically you need a uh, an extra box over here. So if I was just undo this for a second and just have like a temporary variable here, and we'll call this like Z. And um, uh, now it will work, right? Because now I can just say I can assign X. I can just assign this to Z. And now I can assign this y to x and then i can take my z and assign z to y and then now i've swapped them okay so that's how i did that and you can do that in python as well and um, actually uh, and just get on to the next bit here this is one of these cool like you know why is python a good programming language it has some nice nice little things i wonder does it, ha does it have it here it is canonical swap what a cool <laughs> It's a just cool name, canonical swap. So um, part B was describe a method that does work. You can do this really, really cool little swappy thing. I mean, yeah, okay, look, you can do the temp equals x, x equals y, y. That's what we did in paint, right? Um, but I love that you can do this in Python. x, y, y, x with commas. Like, I don't know if that... If, don't, can, you, can you do that in JavaScript? I'm not sure. Um, but it's a cool switcheroo, Okay. It's not called the switch route. It's called a canonical swap. Um, there you go. Or use addition and subtraction. Opera. I mean, I just, I think that's a bit nuts. I don't know who would possibly do it this way. Okay, so I 90% of people will do it this way. And the 10% hardcore Python nerds would do it like this. Okay, so really that is, that is the, uh, the, the nicest way to do it.